when countries in the alliance are threatened. The message is we have the ability, we have the will to protect the territorial integrity of the NATO alliance. And tonight we saw an example, capable air forces flying over Latvia, uh, 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 paratroopers jumping, holding the ground with all the other elements. And I think if I were uh, a taxpayer here in this country, I would have said that is good result. So when Ukraine crisis has escalated, uh, Latvia and also all, all Baltic countries asked to NATO to increase the NATO visible presence here in our region. Now we've got to shift, and we've got to, we've got to shift towards operational preparedness. We've got to be prepared for what's next after Afghanistan. As I said before, we don't know where this next crisis is going to be. So we've got to plan against every contingency. And what this truly gives NATO is it shows tactical interoperability amongst our allies so that we can deploy and accomplish any mission given to us. Interoperability means militarily that we can work together, that we understand each other, that we have uh, the same procedures and the same tactics, and we practice it together. And tonight we have seen soldiers from 10 nations working together, and we saw the results. It was uh, perfect. Exercise Dead Bus Javelin 2 are absolutely fundamental to the operational readiness of, of NATO and all the nation's forces in it. Attenzione, attenzione, non andate dietro l'obiettivo! By definition, if you are in an alliance, you need to train as an alliance with all the members of the alliance. Because if you don't do that, you're not going to be interoperable, you're not going to be effective, and you're not going to be able to deliver your mission. To everyone who thinks bad things, watch out, do not attack NATO because you will, you will be hit afterwards, you, we will strike you and we will battle you down, so better you do not attack. I think this is our message also, that goes to everyone. And I think a steadfast javelin uh, demonstrate that we have the capability to train and exercise and also at the same time we can ensure that the Alliance is prepared to defend its territory and their people. If paragraph number five uh, will be used, it is necessary that all participants from NATO countries already know each other and it's more easy to Start, uh, operation uh, where it is necessary. Make sure you do your, your lap belt. We don't know where we're going to go to next, what operation or what mission or what crisis is going to pop up around the world. We're not going to deploy there alone. We're going to deploy with our allies. So if we're going to deploy together, we've got to train together. And that's why this exercise to give them a really complex objective is to tackle a very difficult challenge is what's going to make us ready for tomorrow, whatever that challenge would be. But I'm convinced, as a NATO officer, together, together we can achieve great things. And tonight, it would not have been possible without those elements from Italy, Latvia, Germany, Poland, and all the other nations to be successful. When we're going to be needed, our, our nations won't ask if we're ready. They're going to expect it. And I think you saw here tonight that we're ready.